Welcome to Dangerous Entertainment. We are playing Death Trap, and I'm your host, Nerf Reese. So uh, today we will be doing the Crystal Vault on uh, the hardest difficulty, so, and we'll be doing it on the Marksman. My Marksman's currently at level 11, and I've uh, the way of uh, <coughs> pimped, uh, the way I've geared him out is I've just got lots of. Uh, critical attack and uh, plus two physical damage as you can see nearly every item has got either physical damage or critical attack um, and then for the runes I've just upgraded the sentry gun oh, and the phoenix pillar and the sentry gun again as much as I can possibly do uh, in terms of my skills just made him very very auto attacky so uh, fully upgraded his auto attack as much as I can and <coughs> Uh, this this ability is uh, just absurd. Uh, so deals 80% of the damage you do to the initial target within 1.8 meters of the original target. So you shoot one target, and everything around it just dies. Plus, just 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 in case it doesn't die, it, it also gets poisoned for 4% um, of the original damage. So yeah, it's it's insane. Um, I I. I'm just trying out a secondary um, attack. Uh, you might, see, I might use that now and again, and then I um, <coughs> will also uh, increase the amount of uh, essence that my uh, traps do, and that also is upgraded. So th uh, <coughs> the traps will do more damage, and it will last longer. In terms of the traps themselves, uh, even though I've got fully upgraded, some some of this trap for this map, you you don't need that. You don't need any points in that. Um, but basically, what I would advise is just to get as many points into sentry guns as possible, and then maybe phoenix uh, pillars as well. So I will see you in there. All right, let's get this show on the road. So first of all. Uh, this turret here is going to be the main damage dealer, so we just want to pump as much uh, juice into him as possible, and then we'll be getting two Phoenix Towers uh, to boot. And once we do that, um, so got to remember is there'll be some minions, um, there'll be a quick horde and then a slow horde uh, coming that way, so we just want to upgrade the base a damage of that one. And these need more essence time to see this absurd look at that look at that I just that's just not playing fair the AOE on my auto attack is just insane I've only got five points in it once I get uh, all the points in it this is insane look at this this is ridiculous madness absolute madness because uh, this is just gonna be like an auto attack run basically I'm just gonna speed up uh, base so really the only hard uh, part about this uh, particular map is uh, at the final wave each one of these pods, um, sorry, gates will have um, quite a, a, a nasty uh, a nasty boss come out of it uh, he'll, he'll gain a shield and it'll be a bit of a pain in the ass to kill Okay, so this is ridiculous. Oh, the range on this sort of attack as well is absolutely madness. Right, that's it, that's done. Easy peasy. Uh, so we'll just be um, now upgrading this sentry gun up. And basically, all I do on this map is just sentry guns galore. Uh, because the final boss is a, is a giant. And the... Uh, get upgrade. Just as phoenix out as possible, and now it's just a case of auto attacking like crazy. So this is this is on hard difficulty, and just absurd. I've already completed this on um, my. I want to say warrior, uh, mercenary, and the sorcerer. Uh, the mercenary was a little bit harder because I've put all my points into. Uh, to um, upgrade in. Oh, so I need that. I'm just going to slow this down. Right, that's over my way. Right now we need to 
use the portal to make sure this guy doesn't think he's hard. There you go, boom. And then uh, we're just gonna fully update okay this. Tra -la 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 -la. These need more essence. Okie dokie then. Just gotta make sure these guys aren't at any free business. I haven't put too many defences on the side yet. You gonna shoot or not, dude? Might as well go to normal speed. Uh, so we've got the first little sub boss coming through the middle there. Uh, he is an armoured one, so you are going to have to absolutely annihilate him as armoured dudes. Probably they pay, they, they're not the most difficult thing, they take the most time to kill. Uh, especially as I, I don't see the point of ever running armour piercing. So that's done. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this uh, one up fully upgraded, finish off this phoenix tower, and we've run out of essence, run out of juice. So uh, what I need to be doing is uh, the, uh, increasing the amount of essence that I'm getting out of here. So we're just going to do that now. There you go, getting lots of lovely juicy essence out. Doesn't feel like too much more than usual. Oh, oh yeah, a few of these uh, the sh shoot guys will teleport. So just be a little bit careful. A little bit cocky now again. I got sh shot to hell. And yeah, it just is is absurd the marksman. Yes, just sat on the sidelines, annihilating. Scary thing is goes on hard difficulty. So what was I saying? So yeah, the the mercenary was probably the hardest one to do, just because uh, because I'm upgrading the blast furnaces, and there's not a very viable place for the blast furnaces. But what I did is I put archer towers here and here, and that seemed to work rather well. So remember the boss will be coming down this here, down here. So this is where you want the most uh, sentry guns. And the boss has two phases that you probably won't be able to see too well. I'll, I'll put them in slow mode. And then we'll get you up and run in. And then what we're just going to do is just going to just gonna buy them. Be, uh, so making sure we're util utilising passive effects. So it's, this is the last uh, boss wave now, so I'll just put this in no normal speed. The chaos portals are bursting with creatures. Indeed. Oh, this damage, the aura attack damage, this is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, look at that Phoenix Tower. Oh, that is just nasty. This is a normal speed, feels like ultra slow mo. Going so fast. Uh, so, the Sorcerer. I kind of went for a very similar tactic. I kind of went for uh, uh, lots of sentry guns. Just gonna put up here. There we go, he's busy. So these guys are gonna take a little bit of time, but not too much. I'm pretty sure my sentry guns are actually the weakest thing. The thing they're weakest against is uh, armor. Check now. Yeah, weakest thing sentry guns are is to armor. Right, so here, you see that little, yeah, this guy, so th these guys here, you'll get these coming out of every gate, these guys, so they're not too hard, but again, if you're on the mercenary, they do pack a bit of a punch, so do be careful. Yeah, just utter uh, demolition, slaughter, uh, on so this, yeah, we've seen these guys before, so when they get to about 10% HP, they go into super uh, aggro, super fury mode, and they just start running really fast. But, uh, nothing to fear. So these, these things are probably the only real thing, especially in the marks with my clan, you can think about killing you. Because, uh, they can teleport into 
range. Actually, I suppose the, the mages have a little chance as well. But yeah, just too much damage. There you go. See that uh, lightning there? That is. You don't want to stand in that for too long. So, I'm just going to slow this right down. Because this, this uh, side here is my weakest side. And what they do is they've, they've planned it out so the boss will come out just um, as you're fighting the, uh, the these guys here. So here's the boss, but luckily because of our awesome AoE talents that we've got. Um, oh, let's just back out of that. Don't need to pop just yet, but we've got way more range. And we're just going to use our ult ability. There you go. As you can see, it just drops loads of lovely Inferno bombs out. Final challenge. There you go, and there's the big guy. So his mechanics is he has two HP bars. Um, the first one he's flying and he's quite fast, and then he'll drop down to uh, just be walk him. And once he's dropped down, it's like his most dangerous, uh, most dangerous part of him because he can summon an absolute ridiculous amount of um, rats. So there he is flying. I'm not, got, I'm not too worried about that, Chris. There, my sentry guns will obliterate him. So here's his first HP bar goes down. And now you'll see him drop down. Oh, oh, in this one, he, sorry, he has bats which you can't do anything about. And now in this thing, he'll, there they are. There's all the rats, uh, but they just actually uh, so get owned because I've got all of these sentry guns I've got AoE. Uh, so we're just gonna back up a little bit there. Let's continue obliterating it. His HP bar. Boost um, the amount of damage that my sentry guns do. And basically any threat is that he spawns loads of rats and that you can't deal with them and then they will obliterate <coughs> your uh, your gate points. But yeah, that, I hope that helps with uh, the crystal vault. Oh, just off level 11. How annoying. But there we go. Uh, thank you very much for watching and you've just been dangerously entertained. Ooh, got a yellow from the loot box. Whoop whoop. Okay, now you've now now you now you've been dangerously entertained. Wow.